control necessarily to stop crowd approaches. Sounds like Battlefield is struck, and Battlefield and Smashville are struck. So Lilat Town and City, Lilat's a choice. I honestly don't agree with this. Bayonetta gets a lot of gun work and a lot of different aerial stuff on this stage, but Blue may know something here. Just look at that. That what I talked about about FD and Bowser not being able, kind of being able to run past things, actually happens on this stage for Bayonetta. Nice, gets a read, gets an air dodge trap, right back into Witch Twist. Good jump by Blue. A lot of Bayonetta's just do the uh, single side B, not holding it, and it's a mix up. Nice, that's gonna hit on Bayo. It is a frame. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Bayonetta is light. That is one of her one of her weaknesses that she dies early. So this right now, I wonder if this is percent for grab. Not yet. Blue knows it better than I do. Oh, Choken probably could have side B to keep keep up there. Nice by Blue. Gets out of that scenario just by B. Does not want Bayonetta landing right on top of him for free. Back air, good spacing tool. He has his double jump. Oh, no tech. And in an air, very strong edge guard, but the grab, I. This is percent. That is the Koopa combo killing. Back to 0 0. Banana has got some invincibility, though. Interesting. Shokin likes to do the uh, no holds side B a lot versus the uh, kick side B. And as soon as I say that, he does it. Blue making a lot of spacing on the stage work. It's how, how he's going to be getting a lot of these grabs just by abusing how the angles on this floor work. Oh, gets the read. It's damage. Oh, calling out Invincible. Invincible at the top of the up smash. Up throw, up air, going to kill. That thing has massive range on Bayonetta. Holy dear. I, I doubt Choken's going to stick with Bayo here. Or, yeah, I doubt it. It seemed he got some things, but he wasn't getting those finishing combos, really. Once he got off stage, he got the edge guard. It worked, but in this case, he couldn't control the ground enough. He's thinking. Blue's got this straight face going on. Doesn't care what Shokin's going to pick. Ooh, we're getting Mewtwo. Not Ness, not Bowser, but Mewtwo on Final Destination. Final Destination was not banned. Probably, uh, I guess, Triplets, maybe. Or Town, one of the, something like that. But Mewtwo has a lot of ground control here with uh, Shadow Ball. Kind of being able to have that fast Shadow Ball be really interruptible early. Throw a lot, just kind of control the ground. Blue's going to play this patient game, though, but Mewtwo's damage output is going to force him to start approaching soon. Wow, the Rar Nair. Interesting. But all that damage. Ooh, good cross up with the Nair. They're able to avoid that grab. Back to this slow game by the ledge. Bowser's going to have a lot of trouble getting through Shadow Ball and down tilt. What's Shokin going to get off this? Oh, here's a grab. Damage. Mewtwo. Also very light, similar to Bayonetta. Hey, Verb. So, Mewtwo being light, the Koopa percent is going to be approaching soon. Mewtwo also is really big, so he's going to be in that range for a long time. Ooh, but the grab, up throw, not going to do it. Bowser is a heavy boy. Now, Shadow Ball charge. Oh, that could have been a stock right there, but he threw it the wrong way. They're both playing for grabs now. Sup, Verb, welcome. Hi, uh, just jumping in and set. Uh, how the first match go? First match was Bayonetta Bowser. Shokin got the first stock, but Blue got the set. Okay. Or got the game. And now he switched to Mewtwo on FD, probably for the ground control, keeping yeah. Blue out. But no control over that. He might die. Mewtwo, he plays Mewtwo the same way if you've ever seen uh, Cheese Bear play Sheik, where it's very uh, flat stage. Uh, I'm going to camp, I'm going to Shadow Ball, I'm going to down tilt, I'm going to wall you out. Kind of like a sword yep. character. Yeah. And it uh, works really well. Yeah. On the flatness, he doesn't have to jump a lot, but when he does, he does a lot of cross up nares. Yeah, and he does that. This is usually the matchup I play versus him. Yeah. Uh, and you see right there, he's just throwing shadow balls. 
He didn't have a lead, but now he does, so... Now he doesn't. <laughs> he's going to have to keep... A, make sure there's more of a lead than what's there now before uh, he starts one it. One challenge is that, unlike Pac-Man, Bowser has a good ground game. Uh, <laughs> that down B is very hard. Like, he can throw a disjoint then in invincibility, a challenge for me too. Yeah. It's like with the up smash as well as... Up B is just a fast that dash out of That canceled out the Shadow Ball right there. No surprise. It doesn't... It doesn't beat the threshold for beating, for like, Shadow Ball doesn't beat the threshold and it kind of trades yeah. like that. Like, he just has to get within, like, a few feet to be able to confirm a B out of shield and punish out his mm -hmm. pressing buttons like a down tilt. Yeah, and look at that. The percent is rising once again. Oh, the fade back on the air is really smart. He's been getting up beat or grabbed, so fading back is good. Oh, the call out, the air dodge, and the pop off. <laughs> yeah, uh. Choke it's out of here. Let's. I was really expecting uh, Blue's win condition to be a grab, but, you know, he had the wherewithal to be like, okay, whenever I'm invading his space, I'm punishing him with the. He's gonna air dodge something up special. We're playing. And I don't know how many times Blue's won that.